Human agent management is a, is a great uh, forestry tool. We, we use it a lot. This would be an even age management. We cut everything at the same time. Uh, even age management, I think if all your trees are within 10% of age from one another, it's even age management. And even though it's very obvious this is, if you look at the rest of this, this is even age management too, all the rest of the forest. It was cut at the same time back in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Same time, it all came up the same age. So it essentially, even though it, you got different sizes of trees, it's essentially even age management. And that's from where they really went through it really hard back in, oh, between 1860 and 1910, they pretty much cleaned the eastern, the eastern area up. Just about cut it all. So it grows back, but uh, you can also select harvest. We did a lot of select harvest here. Um, it's a good tool too. The advantages are many, I think. Uh, when you have a, a one size forest, no openings, no breaks in it, that does contain a certain suite of animals. It's my feeling and others that have the same feeling that if you give them diversity, like you see here, we've got the dense dark hardwoods uh, forest here, and then we've got Erdic successional up there, and then we've got these grasses and legumes here. I think when you give things diversity, your diversity of animals go up much. It goes up a lot. Uh, we got a suite of birds here that we didn't have before, many birds that we didn't have before. They're still there. The original set of birds are over there, but we've got a new suite here. And we got a new suite of birds up there in that clear cut, and uh, that, that uh, growing uh, clear cut up there. So now instead of one suite of birds, we got three suites because we gave them different habitats. I know when I first started working in these places, I, I saw few deer, few turkeys, and very few birds. Now you come out here and you got an opportunity to get a whole lot more. Uh, hunters kind of like this, cause you know, it, uh, it'll help get your deer and turkeys through the winter. Cause it's got feed here for the winter, when, especially in those mast years that didn't hit well. They come out here and feed on the lagoons and they've got the small shrubs up here to feed off of. Uh, deer means tree eater. So that's what they do, get by in the winter. So we provide that. And with the roads we build, a lot of people love walking and riding on our roads. Uh, hiking, you know, you can do sightseeing, hiking, biking, hunting, uh, just, just walking around in the woods. So it has many opportunities in my opinion. Plus, think of all the forest products we generated you know, out of here and all the jobs that uh, kind of supported. And there's many, many items built from these, these, these products out of here. The eastern part of the U.S. has some of the finest hardwood forests in the nation, and this is no, no different here. Uh, we have great white oak, pretty good red oak, uh, not so good uh, scarlet oak, but we have a lot of yellow poplar. Uh, we have good maple. Uh, all these items are, are really sought after in the forest industry. Uh, you know, you make cabinets out of them, tables out of them, flooring out of it, uh, many, many products out of the sawdust and bark <coughs> and out of the uh, chips. You know, that's where your paper comes from. So there's this, this innumerable items that come out of it. Plus you get the benefits that you, you help keep a sawmill open for a little while and keep a pulp mill open for a little while. And uh, you gave jobs to the loggers. So, you know, it's, again, it, to me, it's a win-win. And uh, people say, well, it'll never grow back, but it does grow back. These woods you're looking at here, the mature forest, you know, it's 75, 80 to 100 years old. It grew back, it'll grow back again, and it has grown back. So uh, I don't see any, I don't see any down, downside to that, personally. And now a lot of folks are landowners, and they want to make some, some money off their land, but they would like to, if they're going to do a harvest, they would like to see a good job. And I think with what we've done here, we can show landowners a good forestry practices, and I think what we do here, we do well. And uh, so it's used as an example. And we even have a demonstration forest uh, down on Hart's Run. And it's been, uh, we've harvested the timber off of that thing for 60 years. And we manage it on an uneven age basis. This we're managing pretty much on even age. But down there it's uneven age. So we have taken at least 10 different harvests off of that 20 acres. And it still continues to produce timber. So as a demonstration area, that is a good place to look also. We can look at even age, we can look at uneven age management through our demonstration area.